We got four. We got one more. That's why we have all these guys right here. All these babies. It's a lot of them. There you go, you guys. Every baby's back. Bombs away. Oh, hi you guys. So, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, you guys. So this right here, if you guys didn't know, remember we had three Maltese puppies here on the ranch that were born here? Well, this was the only girl right here, and my mom decided to keep her. Her name is Ava, so say hi to Ava, little Maltese puppy. She's like, I don't even know how old she is now, but she's doing great. She's here with her mother. She lived the rest of her life here on the ranch. We already spayed her. She's not going to get bred, obviously. And yeah, she's just part of the ranch now. Well, anyways, you guys probably clicked onto this video because of the mice and the rats. But before that happens, I'm gonna go update you guys, well, update you on this. I'm gonna go update you guys on the turkeys and the silkies and show you how big they are. We have to clean out their cages because they need to get moved, they're getting big, and they have to go inside another cage that I have set up somewhere else that is a mesh bottom because the turkeys start getting a little sick if they stay on the hay when they're young. I've noticed that from raising turkeys back in the day. So I'm gonna throw them on a mesh bottom cage until they get a little bit bigger and then introduce them back onto the floor once they get into a certain size. But if you guys are new here to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and put those post notifications on right now because we have endless different things happening here on the ranch all the time. Like I'm holding a puppy right now. I still gotta go feed the tortoises over there. I gotta make you guys a video. Oh yeah, look at this over here. Come follow me. Come on, Ava, come over here. See these things right here? These things are moringa trees. These are the trees of life. I told you about that before. I gotta go plant all those. But forget all about that. We're gonna go and clean the turkey cage and the silky cage. And you probably need a bath. I'm gonna tell my sister to do that. But let's go do it. So we're here at the chicken corral little party section right here. And unfortunately, we did have six baby turkeys. But thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Unfortunately, you guys, one did pass away the second day I had it, but the rest of the five are doing absolutely great, you guys. Tom is the biggest one that is right there, as you can see, and is the smaller ones, and in the silkies right there. This little corral thing is ready to get cleaned. It is disgusting. It's, it's ready to go. It's only been three weeks, but because of the amount of birds in it, the turkeys, everyone's growing, it's getting nasty. So, but today is the day that they are gonna get separated. The turkeys are gonna come out of there. They're gonna go inside of a meshing cage so that they poop and it'll fall down underneath them and they won't be as dirty. The silkies will stay in here for another probably three more weeks until they get to about the size of those turkeys right there. They're so cute. But um, there's five turkeys. Hopefully it's like maybe two boys, three girls, and I'll end up just keeping them all. But if not, then we're probably gonna give two to one of my buddies, the one that actually hatched the one out. Oh. Yeah, you just saw that one, look at that, they just jumped out. The toms are getting ready to move. They're getting too big already. Oh, it's okay, you guys. The turkeys are just getting really big already. They're already flying out and stuff. I'm always have to put in a bag, so they're ready to get out of there. And yeah, but they're all white right now. Yep, 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 yep. These are cute little guys. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but these guys are actually really, really adorable. And these are royal palm turkeys. Really, really soon, they'll be having black little feather lines in there, so it'll be white and black. Really awesome little birds. But uh, let's clean this up real quick. And then I'm gonna show you guys the reason why you guys clicked on this video. See how many mice we have inside of this garage. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Santa, open the door more. Uh, 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 uh. Right Put your side down first if you can. The pressure washing. All right, hold up. Put it down right there. Uh. So I just brought in the cage that you guys just saw real quick. I'm gonna grab all the turkeys, put them over there, and then I'm gonna put the silkies down onto the floor. Get a shovel or a broom, whatever. Pick this all up, throw it away, add new hay on it. Simple, easy, quick little cleanup. Takes five minutes. You'll see right now. Come on, you guys. This is Tom, obviously. He's the biggest one. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They really don't even need a light anymore. They're so big. We got four. We got one more. Got it. We got turkeys. We got turkeys. We got turkeys. We got turkeys. 
all right. It's okay. Come on. Go in. Go in your new home. You'll be in here for probably another, oh um, my God, it cooked all over me. For probably another three, four weeks until they get about that big and then they'll get introduced into another enclosure. Ranch life, boys. We got some poop on us. All right, let's get some food and water and then clean up the other cage. I got you guys. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so Sookies are actually really, really adorable when they're born. Then they become very, very, very ugly like this. And then they become very, very cute again. But right now they're in the absolute ugliest stage that you ever want to see a Sookie. They just, I mean, they just, some people might think they're cute, but to me they're low key, they're hideous. But until they get fluffy again, then they're really adorable. But look at these little guys. We got the little buff right here. We got the two white silkies, and then we got the two uh, mentalistic, gray, black, whatever color I guess you would want to say these guys are. Hopefully they're not roosters, but we'll see. We got a little silky squad right here. Dope. Let's clean that cage for the 30th time, like I said. I think I stepped on some. You don't wanna see my feet. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's go clean this cage. <laughs> so I got my little hoe right here. So this little hoe will be able to break the crap from the bottom. See, just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice little quick cleaning. Throw it in the garbage, put the hay back down. Instant, good, little fast little cleaning. Just a little flip the hay and change it up. But yeah, so we do. Probably got to get a little broom. There's a lot of uh, chicken started on the floor. You guys notice, if you guys have been watching my videos, we've been making the videos a lot longer for you guys. We're putting, adding five, 10 minutes on every single video so you guys can see more parts of the ranch and things of that sort. And if you guys are not following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram right here, make sure you guys follow me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and let's get my page to 60,000 followers. So let's do it, you guys. Follow me right now. I'm gonna keep on pulling the bricks. All right, that's pretty much good. a lot of chicken poop and stuff. I have a bunch of hay right here, spread that down to the floor. And that's it, it's just picking up 85% of all the stuff so that there's new clean shavings on the bottom. And then the silkies being there, it's gonna be less poop getting added down there as well because the turkeys are put to the other side. And that is it, we're about to grab the silkies, put them back in and again, look at them. We got the four squatted over there and we got the one by himself. I'm telling you, those things would never be able to survive on their own outside with all the hawks and things that are out there, they just, Look at him. All right, so all the hay is down. It is nice and fluffy and thick. With the silkies walking around it, it'll flatten it out. It'll be flat to the ground. Put a nice thick layer so that when I clean it out again in about two to three weeks, I'll just pick all the hay up. It's easy to pick up. It's like a big bedding. It's like a blanket. It's like a pee pee pad, however you want to call it. It's perfect. And yeah, have my mom come out. And again, these are her silkies, so she helps me with this. She just doesn't like getting her hands dirty, her feet dirty. Maybe you're supposed to wear sandals or shoes. Ranch life, you guys. Farm life. Anyways, she's gonna feed them with a lot of water. Got them all at one point. Go. Got these little guys, little cuties. Yo, follow me on Instagram again, because this is gonna be a viral picture right now on Instagram. Let's do it. <laughs> Take a picture. So let's add these little gorgeous little silkies. Following the wise, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely ugly. Let's put them back inside of here. There you go. There you go, you guys. Be happy. It's like a jungle in there for you. Perfect. Good. Awesome. Vertical. I've been doing a lot of training. Watch this. Pop dropping. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Joey's going to be happy about that. So you guys, if you guys remember the giant reptile rescue that we did probably about a month ago with all the snakes, the bearded dragons, hot sauce, all the monitors and everything. Well, that day we also got a bunch of feeder mice here on the ranch. And all these feeder mice pretty much were the persons. He gave me all the tanks, all the setups, everything. And this is what he used to supply all of the monitors food, the ball pythons food, things of that sort. So here on the ranch, I have been doing the same exact thing, but it's just, it's a lot easier for me just to get already frozen uh, rats that are already ready to go instead of having to kill them and doing it and all this stuff, it's too much work. So most likely I'm just gonna end up giving this to a, a mice breeder or something like that, or I don't know. That's why we have all these guys right here, all these babies. It's 
a lot of them. A few of my sister's friends actually were thinking about taking some home. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna give one of my sister's friends all the girls and then the other friends, all the boys, so there can't be no breeding, and then that is good. But I mean, yeah, we have these little bit of mice right here. It's a lot of mice, but um, never really told you guys about these guys, so that's why I wanted to show you. We got a lot of mice. So I'm gonna separate them. I was just cleaning everything out. So the young, young, young babies have to go back with the mothers that are right here. This is their little house, little setup. It's like a reptile enclosure, but they do perfect in there. And then the older ones are going down into that tank down there. Then we have another pair over here. But uh, yeah, we have a few mice here on the ranch now, and yeah. A lot of them, like I said, a lot of them are feeders, but some of them, this whole batch right here, most likely are going to get uh, rehomed without a doubt so that we can save some of these guys because they are kind of cute, not going to lie. Like that one right there is pretty cute. Look at that one right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one right here, brown head, black body, pretty cool looking. Different, interesting. Fergie kind of wants to eat them, but I'm not going to let that happen. Yeah, Fergie. Look at her face. Look at her. She's saying, let one drop. I'm going to eat them. But let's put these guys back in and call it a day. We got their food, they got their water, everything's good, everyone's happy, everyone's great. That is the dad right there, actually. Look at that freaking dude. He's a freaking ho. Oh, look at all these freaking mice he made. <laughs> My God. Anyways, let's put these guys back in here. Fergie, move out of the way. Come on. Come on, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's do this real quick. Let's put all the big ones. Stay. Back up. All right, so grab these little guys, put them back in. There you go. Hey, back up, back up. They kind of nip, so that's why I'm grabbing them from the tail. I don't want to get nipped by them. There you go. We got this nice little cute one right here. There you go. And we got that one right there. And this one right here. We got calicos, grays, whites. All different types of things. Pretty cool. But these mothers right here have all these babies right here. And we're going to dump all the little young little babies back with them. There you go, you guys. Have your babies back. Bombs away. There you go. They're all back in there. Now they're going to have to get grown big. And then they're all going to get rehomed. Because my sister has a very large uh, cheerleading team. And I said, yo, you guys want some pipe mice? He said, yeah. So... Their moms are gonna like it. Oh, they're gonna have a lot of pet mice, but I'm gonna make sure no one gets pears so that there's no more breeding happening at all because you don't want, they don't wanna deal with this. This is too much. All right, so I'm gonna put the top back on here so they can't get out. They got their food, they got their water, they're happy, they're good, they're great. Mothers are happy back with the little moms, with their babies. The mothers never get fed. Normally, what you do when you're breeding them, you always sell out the males and the males you get fed. I've been using a bunch of the babies, well, the bigger ones like that size. If there's any males, they get sent to the ball pythons. The ball pythons have to eat you guys. So we, I have a, a CO2 thing, so they get humanely euthanized first, and then they get fed to the ball pythons because I know a lot of people don't like that. So yeah, we do that here in the ranch. All right, you guys, for today's post notification shout out is going to, let's find this thing, Ema Bobber. It is Jasmine. It says, your videos inspire me so much. Keep on doing what you're doing. I appreciate it, Jasmine. If you guys want to get a positive comment, shout out, put one down below to get the chance to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And the way that the subscribe, subscribers have been looking, I am 100% sure you guys could break 10,000 likes in this video without a doubt. We have some awesome summer videos on the way coming soon. Stay tuned for that, you guys. Absolutely insane things. Maybe spin the wheels, maybe some challenges, all different kinds of things. Tell me what you guys think about those ideas in the comments as well. And I will see you guys in an upcoming video, you guys. And peace out, everybody, and have a good day.